Hello and welcome to this tutorial of how to module a pencil like this. Now this is a pencil and this is only for beginners. So if you are looking for an advanced tutorial of how to make something like this, this is not the right tutorial for you. Let me show you how this looks in the rendered viewport. Looks pretty nice, huh? Now there will be needed needing some um, bitmap images for this, and actually only a one bitmap image. Um, it's at mediafire.com/slash/whatever. It will be in the description, and you could download it, or you can make, or you can make a photo simply like this with paint. This will obviously be the pencil lead, and this will be like the real pencil lead. So this will be like the, you know the one behind it. This should be a more of a brownish color, but I was just doing this quickly, and it should be called untitled if you make it with paint you can you know change it but so let's get started for of course if you want to make a pencil you should always at least save it which I will actually do right now so once you have your nice pencil you should save it of course so now I just saved it in case now I will reset this and boom we started all over so now I started all over actually. Now, the be here's a very interesting tip with these viewports. You have to choose the best viewport to make your your um object. Now, of course, we could use the front or the left viewport, but for this tutorial, we'll just use left. The keyboard shortcut for this button is Alt W, which you can press and boom. So Alt W, and now you see this tiny point. Well, press on Z if you moved it. So let's say I moved it like right here. I could press on Z. Voila. Now choose a cylinder and be right in the middle. Get it right there, and scale it to about this size, and then just do any height you'd like. For the sides, do it six like a normal pencil, and check smooth. We'll change these settings later later throughout this video. Now let's extrude it. I mean not extrude, but let's make it go this way. Make sure you got a good size and a good radius. And I'm and I'm happy about that. Now let's change this to um pencil. I mean no not pencil. Um I forgot what to name this. Just name it pencil for now. And change the color to yellow. Or of course you may apply a material if you feel like it. Now, what we want to do is go to the left viewport again. And let's create the metal part. The green metal part. For this you'll also need a cylinder. Of course right in the middle. And before you make it any higher, change the sides to 48 and make sure it's about like this let me press Z quickly so like right on the edge like right here do you see this just a little more outside doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical and of course you want to change it to metal insert I think and change this color to a nice little green and change you know the settings till you have something you actually like like right there now as you can see this is a tutorial that uses a lot of objects not a single edible pulley right, of course I just press Z again and let's go into our left viewport again now we want to create a small actually no we don't want to create a cylinder with a um, sharp edge we wanted to create with a round or yeah round edge so under standard primitives go down until you see extended primitives this is um, extended primitives are like standard primitives except with more objects choose extended primitives and then choose the you see this chamfer box you don't choose that choose chamfer cylinder and create of course right in the middle like so like this and then just increase the height and then the fillet 
fillet is like this and of course you want the fillet to be about here like it's actually a used pencil and then just of course move this to the side and yes you do want to scale it a little smaller no not the height the radius like so okay this is looking so far so good actually oopsie you can also use the control z to undo and here let's change the sides and the fillet segment and of course you could change the fillet if you'd like but for now this looks nice let's do a quick render make sure how it looks looks good but let's change the color to a nice pinkish color yeah this color so the color if you're using the right version is located right here this one the second last one Wait, what am I thinking? Not the second last one, but you get you get my point. Now we want to create the cone. Now this is no no. Let's actually not do that for now. First we gotta create a blue object, sort of like this. But it's not gonna be a cylinder this time. It's gonna be a torus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Tell me if I'm wrong. Now you wanna create it just a little outside this edge. And then you want to go move inside, pretty much. And of course, you do want to change segments if you like to be about 48. Now you see you've got this nice little thingy. Now just move it like this. And now to clone an object, hold shift and drag. And then boom, you just created a clone. Make this copy. Select both of them by holding control and then change their color to blue. Now of course you could name these but of course since we're trying to do this quick we could just name this eraser. And I guess I don't know what to name these. If you know what they're called, you know, just tell me. Okay now we get to the tricky part of it. We're not this time going to use you know, um, cylinder, and then you know, using edible pulley, we're gonna create a cone, like so. Have it exactly like where the pencil is, which is yellow. So it's the yellow part, so about right here, and then like you know, change the height, and then change the point to be exactly, you know, in the center. Now you wanna press Alt W, and then just move this, and you're seeing. It might be the wrong way, or it might not. But for me, it's the wrong way. So I'm going to choose the rotate option. Click the angle, snap, toggle, and change it 180 degrees. And let's move it inside the pencil. Now, what you're thinking is we have to go to the front view and zoom in very closely at this object and see if there are no gaps. Another thing we must do is change it so that it doesn't go out of this object so like so now it's kinda going a little out but of course now you want to change the height to like a sharp little pencil and this is where you want to download the media fire link of course go to your material editor and then of course you wanna get this first material and choose your standard material it might start with a standard material actually and near diffuse see this none select that and double click on bitmap and see this is the one you're gonna download from mediafire now we'll just open this image and for now let's just apply it and show shaded material in viewport now we see that this is completely the wrong way so how we're gonna change that is first we're gonna change the size to about a hundred by a hundred and then you want to change the W angle to 90. See that? And then you could change the height to whatever you'd like that will fit. Now, of course, you could create your own paint or Photoshop picture by using a much nicer brown, but for now, we're just going to use this test one that I made.
and that you see we got our final render now we can render this and it will look very nice you can render it this way from any viewport actually before this the sake of this tutorial we're just gonna render it from here ta-da so it's much easier than you think actually but yeah you use a lot of objects to create this let's actually see how much let's count one two three four five six we use six objects to make this pencil so i hope this tutorial helped and again link in the description to download this image or you can make one which i will show you at the end of this video well actually this is the end of this video so let's do this let's actually create one so let's open up paint which i will search and here we have paint select this object and for make both of these colors a color that you'd want your first object to be so let's make this a nice little gray and press on OK and let's change this to the gray too now we go to fill solid color outline solid color and then when we make our box ta-da now we could choose a nicer brown which we will have to also you know do let's actually scroll down yeah this no this looks like a nice brown okay change this color to brown and then just do that boom you already got your photo now all you have to do is instead of downloading it you could just save this one and use this one so i hope this tutorial has helped if not please leave your questions in the comments below and the users that read the comments please try to answer their questions it will be very nice and yeah that's about it for this tutorial um see you later i hope actually yeah so i hope this tutorial has helped now let's go over what we learned something we learned is that to go we have to choose always the right viewport to model the object the second thing we learned is that you don't always have to use editable poly you can always put objects over each other and the third thing we use is to learn to be organized like um making this object as big as we want and then we could just scale it at the end and yeah that's it i hope this tutorial has helped if it helped please leave a like in the description or subscribe it will really help my channel and yeah let's wait until we get a hundred subscribers at least and then we'll make like a special video or something i will i hope to see you next time and i hope this tutorial helped Bye.